Hi everyone, my name is Miss Al, and today I'm going to show you an activity that you can do from home. It's called raised salt painting. All you'll need is a piece of paper, some watercolor paints, liquid glue, salt, and maybe a spoon or little cup to scoop it, and then a cup with water for your paint. All right. So I'm going to pan down the camera so that you guys can see what I do, okay? And now we're ready to get started. You're going to want to take your glue. And what you're going to do with the glue is you're going to pretty much draw with your glue. So if you want to make a sun, you'll draw a circle and some sun rays. Um, if you want to make a heart, then you'll make a heart with your glue. This will be a little bit hard to see because the glue is white and my paper is white, but pretty soon you'll see what I mean. All right, so I'm going to make a heart. And I want to make like a nice, nice line with my glue. Let me see. So if I bring it closer, you can see that I drew a heart with my glue. I'll make a star over here. And I'll make that sun over here. in any places where you think the glue is missing. I want a nice thick line of glue. All right, that should do it. Then, wherever you put the glue on your paper is where you want to sprinkle the salt. So I'm going to take my salt And you want to coat your glue with salt. Regular table salt will work just fine. There will be extra salt that you'll shake off. And that extra salt you can use to cover up the rest of your picture. I do recommend having another piece of paper for the extra salt. But if you don't, you can just dump the salt straight into the trash bin. Now you want to gently tap the extra salt away and now you can see that my painting is has a little edge that's the salt and the glue right there. All right, you want to put the salt away. You won't need that anymore. 
clear your painting area. All right. Now we'll get to the actual painting. This time, watch what happens to the color when I start painting my salt. The trick is to have a lot of water and to really saturate your paintbrush with some color. Okay. I'm dip in water, then into the paint, dip it into water again, just so that I get a very watery color. Okay? And then I just want to touch my salt. Might even dip a little bit into water and then back onto the salt. Dip in water, get more paint. Can you tell that all I'm doing is touching one little spot and then the paint, the salt actually grabs all the paint and it starts to kind of dissolve and go through the salt. And the more watery your paint is, the more the paint spreads. There we go. This would be a good way of blending some colors together. For example, I'm gonna use some orange next. And instead of painting the orange right next to the red, I'm gonna do it just a little bit further so that the colors can blend together. Let's see. There we go. Kinda of has a little tie-dye effect. Awesome. It's just a lot of fun painting. I'll show you a little close up of what's happening. All right, I'm going to do some blue. I'm going to do my star just to show you. Okay. This time, I'll try and do it closer. Did you see how the color just spread? Let me try that again. Get my paintbrush really wet. Just touch and it goes. Pretty cool. Wow, I like the way that looks. So there you have it. You've got your raised salt painting and then when your picture dries, you'll get something that looks like this. The salt is all painted and colorful, and then it's a little bit raised because you've got the glue and the salt. Well, thanks for watching. We can't wait to see your finished raised salt painting.